Hello and welcome to another Bushwhacker review. Today we are going to be taking a look at Stefan Parsons' Dogecoin car. We got another Dogecoin car after all these years. As always, take a look at the box. We've got a very generic box. He said these boxes here are really just kind of disappointing. Like, it is just a completely blank box with one tiny little BJ McLeod Motorsports logo on the bottom. Like, that does not look very good. Like, that does not look appealing. That does not look like a car. Like, you're going to see this box and you're not going to get excited about what car is inside it. I don't know. Anyways, down the side, you got another BJ McLeod Motorsports logo. You got to render the car right there. Standard finish, Lionel Racing. Made a total of only 540 of these things. That surprises me. Standard finish, BJ McLeod Motorsports. BJ McLeod Motorsports on the back. On the side, you got 2021 Action Racing Collectibles, BJ McLeod Motorsports. And you, of course, have your copyright and such on the bottom of the box. Here is the car itself. This car ran multiple times this year, both as a Camaro and a Supra. Which one interesting thing to point out is that this diecast has the paint scheme from the Supra on the Camaro. It's very minor changes, but the uh, Camaro version of this car, this was not connected around the front. Like, there was like a spike here, there was like a black, and then the blue kind of ended right here. There was like, I mean, I'll post pictures on my Instagram when I post this review, but... The design of the front end was not like solid like this on the Camaro, only on the Supra. So that's definitely interesting. Not entirely sure how that happened, but I imagine it was something along the lines of, like... I think they offered this after it ran the first time, so it was probably, like... By that point, they were going to, you know, change the paint scheme, so they made the diecast based on the updated paint scheme, but I guess they just never ran a Camaro again. Unless I'm missing, you know, a race that this ran like this as a Camaro, because I can only find one photo of it as a Camaro and a couple photos of it as a Supra, but... Definitely interesting, we got a Stefan Parsons diecast... I believe that's the first time we got a Stefan Parsons diecast. We haven't gotten many BJ McLeod Motorsports diecast either. I always love when we get some more underfunded kind of small team stuff, especially from the lower series. Those diecasts definitely are definitely more unique than usual. Anyways, on the hood, you got Dogecoin. Got a picture of him right there with Wow. Got Chevrolet Camaro, number 99. Down the side, you got Spring Grates or Spring Grates, whatever that is. Got Dogecoin again down there. Nothing in front of the rear wheel. Got SoCal on the C post. On the B post, you have Bond something. Has your regular contingencies and such up front. On the back, you have Spring Grates, Very Vroom, number 99, and Chevrolet Camaro. Odds are they are their automotive suspension source. Spring Grates on the deck lid and the roof. This is number 199. So close to a door number. <laughs> I mean, it's not close, but it's one of those cars that somebody, like, gets, like, sees, like, holy crap. <laughs> but anyways, you got the same stuff down the other side. Take a look under the hood if it wants to open. Got a Chevy bow tie under there. There's the engine detail if you want to see that. Obviously, no deck lid or roof flaps on these Xfinity bodies. There's the underside of the car if you want to see that. And I'll top of the car like this, just, like, much like the original... Number 98, Dogecoin car from back in, like, 20... What was that? 14-ish? A kind of fun meme car, basically, is all it is. There's been a big crypto boom in NASCAR for some reason. It's getting a little out of hand. We just got, like, all these random different crypto sponsors on so many different cars. Like, what was it? Landon Castle's car is, like, fully funded by crypto, and he gets paid in crypto, I'm pretty sure, too. I don't know. It's weird. I've never been into crypto. I think it's kind of stupid, but... <laughs> Whatever. But back in the day, it was just, there was only a few of them that were kind of funny, like Dogecoin. Said back when we had the first Dogecoin car, it was funny back then. That diecast is insanely rare now. So I'd say if you want this car, I'd say get it soon, because the last one goes for like $700 now. So if that one went for that much, I'm sure this one will probably go pretty high too. I don't know. They definitely didn't make too many of them. The first one is, you know, a little bit more exciting than this one, but... Still a Dogecoin car, and you know... Enough people wanted it, they did offer a diecast again, so clearly there was interest there. But I don't expect this car to get, like, instantly rare, but down, a few years from now, I'm sure this car will actually be kind of rare. So I would definitely pick, recommend picking it up soon if you want it. Because that's what happened with the original one. Everyone kind of ignored it, and then later down the road, everyone was like, wait, that's how much now? Remember, for all of your diecast needs, you can go to circlebdiecast.com. If you use the code BWAC, you can get free ship in any order over $20. So go check that out if you want anything. But I think that's pretty much all there is to say. This has been a review of Stefan Parsons' Dogecoin Chevy from 2021. Hope you enjoyed and thanks for watching.